Hello, I'm Kevin Church, and for the month of October 2018, our Mufix Songwriter of the Month is Lori Rink. Hey, Lori, how are you? Hi, good. Awesome. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you. It's really good to see you, too. Super excited to be here. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about what got you into writing songs. Who were your earliest influences? When you say earliest, um, I'd have to say, you know, grew up here in the South, so Southern Baptist, um, Southern Gospel, definitely, um, Old Country, Dolly Parton, you know, all the the great ladies of, of country music, you know, cut my teeth with those. But um, I think as I kind of grew up a little bit, um, I lean a little bit towards Celtic music, you know, folk music. Um, love the long Celtic Irish ballads, beautiful things. Um, used to play the dulcimer a whole lot, and um, I think that a lot of my songwriting influences come from those ballads, and I'm very inspired by that, that very soulful singing and stuff. And, um, you know, as I grew up during the, the indie pop era, I really liked Tracy Chapman, you know, um, Indigo Girls. They always really have something interesting to say. I think I'm drawn to female artists who have a message, you know, beside all of the fluff, just something that they need to be said um, or trying to get out of their, their creative energies. So yeah, I would say that's Celtic most definitely is probably my major influence. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. would you say that you write songs because you have to versus then you want to? I say definitely I have to. Um, being an artist um, by nature, you know, I'm a visual artist um, as well as musician, and I think just I was born to use my hands to create. So all that energy flow has to come out. And I think songwriting is a wonderful way to express my emotions, to hopefully... Um, make a point somehow, you know. And uh, just to clarify, you did some graphic art for Josh Jarman. You did his logo. I did. Um, I've, I've done a lot. Um, I've done a lot for my husband's um, uh, logo and stuff as well. But yes, um, I have to create. So um, that's just one of my outlets. So I enjoy that. Illustration is my major. Um, I guess uh, visual art is my staple. You know, I'm an, a visual arts teacher, middle school art teacher. Uh, music is my, my love, so. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm gonna have to hire you for some work. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> really would appreciate that. Uh, the other thing I have to ask you is, have you written songs that made you cry? Any, any one song? Oh, yes, um, quite often. I have written songs that made me cry from laughter because I do write some snarky, um, satire, um, but also just uh, very emotional, heartfelt things. You know, being an artist, what is in you is a very intimate thing. Once that comes out, it's really sometimes hard to share, especially the really overly emotional, sad stuff. And so when you play it, you, you should be, if you are performing um, with your heart in it, you should live that over again. You know what I mean? I be in yes. that minute. And so sometimes I'll cry while performing a song that I haven't played in a few months. It's just, it hits you again. It puts you in that spot. Um, I wrote a song about my daughter leaving and every time, and it's a funny song, but every time I play it, I get just a little, uh, you know, a little teary there, but I hear you. That college thing. Oh, know. wow. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough to relive that kind of thing, but it's cool that we capture it and perform it and emote, if you will truth yeah so anything that other than the college uh song that has any kind of moment in life that has triggered some new material for you oh well definitely um you know for years i traveled with a gospel singing group they're called the king's crusaders and we wrote um or i wrote a lot of uh southern gospel songs um <laughs> i got started with that um they're like all packed up in my attic under wraps but anyway um i then you know just pretty much started songwriting for my own right you know just to relieve energy had mm -hmm. a lot of negative anxiety um that had to come out one way or another yeah. and um you know everything that i write mostly comes from what is happening in the now 
So if I'm going through a certain thing, it's going to pop out right. in a month or so in a song. Um, but and and you know, love is a great inspiring message. And um, you know, when you when you sing a lot of s- sad songs, a lot of times you lose your audience because oh, yeah. you know, laugh the world laughs with you, cry and you cry alone. <laughs> you know, people just like shut down. She's getting <laughs> a little sad over there. So right. um, I feel like everyone loves love. And that energy kind of fuels me. So, written a lot of songs about my husband. Oh, great. A lot of love songs. So, yeah. Gotcha. So, will you be performing one of those today? Or what song will you be performing for us? I'm actually going to perform my newest song. Um, <clears throat> it's a song about Savannah. Um, I went to school there as a young artist. Went to SCAD. And uh, I had not visited the town in years. So this is kind of fueled from an observation. It takes me back a little bit from my past up to my present. So, yeah. Well, I look forward to playing with you on that. Thank it's going to be so I'm much fun. About that. <laughs> awesome. Lori Rankin, everybody. Thank you. Steps of my old apartment. She was a tired yellow dog guarding beside the luxury near that bell tower at the corner of Haversham and Liberty. And it was there upon her fire escape once. Try and find a escape. I smoked my first and possibly last cigarette. I was looking for big dreams in that little city of poor Irish kings. A Forsyth fountain, I'd long thrown my penny in. I know by now it's tarnished 20 years A gem underneath that sediment And I still believe with sentiment That deal That I struck there with that fountain is legitimate Present, overlooked, overdue What's a little dream supposed? Does it ever sleep? Always keep creeping under these city streets. Was it overbid? Under kind of evicted flat when the rent went up. Served its time, paid some dues. Was it thrown out like last year's trash? Now to you. Where the tourists let their dogs water all the graves of the dead Enough said As to why the ghost don't rest so easy in this little town And it was there that I looked for my name That I carved on a wax myrtle thing But it had been Overlooked, overdue What's a little name supposed to do? Does it ever sleep? Always keep creeping under these city streets Was it overbid? Undercut, evicted, flat When the rent went up 
served some time, paid some dues. Or was it thrown out like last year's trash down to Union Avenue? Is it ever true? Chippewa Square was shining in the heat. They ripped out all of the azaleas where the homeless used to sleep in the shade. There, put in a new yogurt parfait stand. Oh, and obviously, that real estate went out. Oblivious to those down on their love who are blemishes now on their shiny silver dollar town. I guess they moved on to bigger and better things in that city of poor Irish kids. Overlooked, overdue What's that little dream supposed to do? Does it ever sleep? Always keep Creeping underneath city streets Was it overbuilt? Undercut, evicted, plot When the rhyme went up Served some time, paid some dues Or was it thrown out? But the money man came in and he, he watered down the truth. There's a black tie martini bar sitting where I used to wash my clothes. And Lord knows it's so ironic. I guess that's just how progress goes when it's spent. Overlooked, overdue What's a little town supposed to do? Does it ever sleep? Always keep creeping out of these city streets Was it overbid? Undercut, evicted, flat When the rent went up Served some time, paid some dues Was it thrown out Like last year's trash to you? True.